So Google literally just killed Photoshop. You can now edit and create images directly on Google by, by just talking with the tool. And it's quite, quite impressive. Of course, it didn't kill Photoshop. There's still a lot of complex things you cannot do. But for 90% of the people, this is more than enough. You can see here that I just added this picture here of a guy riding a bike with a plane on the back. And I literally just said, change the color of the shirt to red. And boom, in seven seconds, it changed um, to the, you know, the shirt to red. And it's quite impressive, the quality. I then just said, remove the plane from the picture. Boom, it removed the plane from the picture. Um, really easy. I then just said, change the background to a mountain with the snow. And it did that. And then I even added like this new picture uh, with this castle on, on the lake. And I said, add a boat on the lake. And you can see that easily added a boat. And look at the shadows. It's truly really impressive. Um, and then I also said, add text in the sky with the clouds saying the AI break. And so he added some clouds and he added the, the text. This model is actually pretty good with text on images. Not, not all of them are. A lot of them struggle with text. This one handles really well. So you can be quite creative on you know, putting whatever you want um, in terms of text into images by just using this platform here. And you can edit a lot of stuff. Uh, again, of course, it's not perfect. It does some mistakes now and then. But it's really good to like replace people, remove people from the picture, change colors, you know, change places, etc. It's really, really good. And the cool stuff about this is that at least at the time of this recording, it's free to use. So anyone can use this. You literally just go to aistudio.google.com, you create an account, and then you need to make sure this is really important. You need to make sure that you choose this model. It's the Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. And you'll see that it's the model that it will show up this output format and you will say images and text. So it's really important you need to change to this model, otherwise you'll not be able to generate images or edit them. By the way, you can generate images from scratch. Again, the cool stuff that I've been testing is the actual the, edit, uh, the editing side. Uh, but you literally just need to change, choose the model, change the output to images and text, and then you can literally just edit any images by just typing, okay? just. One thing, uh, be careful that, of course, there is a lot of restrictions when if you use like, uh, you know, images from celebrities or, you know, from well-known people, it will tell you that, you know, you cannot change or you cannot edit. But for everything else, it's really useful, super easy to use, and it's free. So give it a try.